Um, so today I'm going to be doing my spring nail polishes. Yeah, so I have quite a few, so I'm just get right into it. And this video, all I'm going to do is just say all the spring nail polishes I like and the reasons why I like them. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the first two that are really kind of hard to explain. But the reason why they're hard to explain is because I like this color of nail polishes for the spring and summer. But I absolutely hate this brand. So, the colors I'm about to show you and the nail polishes I'm about to show you. Um, just like ignore the name of the nail polish. Just really look at the color and be like, okay, I understand the color. The first one is this one. Okay, and this is by Studio M, which I absolutely hate this brand because these do not dry. So, you do not get this brand. Both of them are actually by Studio M. They're kind of blinding you. I'm sorry. So this one right here, I mean this one right here, right here, is called Orange Sunset. And this one right here is called Neon Pink. Okay, the reasons why I do not like um, this brand is because they do not dry. But they're just really, these colors are really simple and easy to find. Um, they're just neon. This is a neon pink and this is a neon orange and they're amazingly neon. So if you just find a neon um, color, like a neon orange and neon um, pink, then you'll definitely find these colors. And they actually might dry because these colors would not dry at all. So it's really sad. And this keeps blinding you. really bothering me. Look at that. I got two text messages. Sorry guys, I just had to reply. Okay, then I'm just gonna kind of pick randomly now. The first one is the one I'm actually wearing on my nose right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This lighting, you guys actually can see the color. Cause last night when I tried to film my haul, my um, what was it? On oh, my Ulta haul, I tried showing you guys this color and they would not look up this true color. This is like the true color of it, pretty much. Yeah. It's because windows are right there, and in my room there was, like, no windows, and I couldn't do it in here because it was dark out, so. Yeah, but anyway, this is a China Lace Nail Polish. Oh, my goodness, you guys can see the true color. And this is in the color 872 Pool Party. And this is, like, bright neon pink. But it's not, like, a, they also have another one called Shocking Pink or something, and it's, like, a neon but it's not as like neon as that. It's neon and it's very bright, but it's not like a just a true neon pink. It's like has orange undertones in it. Um, like this neon plus. See, look at that. You can see the difference. You can definitely see this has more orange because this one's just mainly just pink. So yeah, that's the first one. And I like those. I like that color because it's like I love neon for um spring because it's like neon. And I just love bright colors and neons and pastels for spring so that's what probably we're going to see the next one is by Sally Hansen and it's an insta dry nail color and it's in the color 14 flashy fuchsia and it looks like this it's very um like a fuchsia but I don't know if you guys can tell but it has more red undertone than um most fuchsias so it has more red undertones and if you tilt it a certain way, you could see a little purple undertone as well. So that's cool. It's a very pretty color. Definitely one of my favorite fuchsias. I absolutely love it. Um, the next one is by Revlon. And this color is called Ocean Breeze. And this one is scented. And I absolutely can't believe a nail polish is scented. It's like awesome. And it's scented. And, um, it's only scented when you dry when it dries. But what it's scented is it's scented like the ocean like it smells like salt, like sea salt water and stuff and like i mean that's not my favorite scent but it does actually smell better and it's kind of just amusing that your nails smell um yeah but um the color is the gorgeous color in the whole wide world it's like i don't know how to explain it it's like a blue turquoise teal green color it's just amazingly beautiful and oh my goodness i think everyone needs a color like this whether it's by China Glaze, whether it's by Sally Hansen, whether, whether it's by OPI, whatever, you need something color like this. So, I love that color. Next color is also by Revlon, and this is the color 912 Posh Pink, or Poosh Pink, or whatever. I call it Posh Pink, but whatever. And 
gonna happen. Okay, sorry. It like froze. Okay. It's like it's like light baby pink, and again, it's more of a pastel. Um, you guys are probably like Nina, you're showing us bright colors and then you're showing us pastels. That does not make sense. I'm showing you bright colors and then pastels because I'm not showing you guys on purpose in that order, but I like neons and pastels for spring because pastels are more for spring and like neons, what I'm saying about neons is that I like neons and bright colors for spring just because you can have fun with your nail color. Like in the winter, I like to do darker colors and then in the spring I like to get some more fun colors out there, so yeah. But this is just a, like a nice pretty pink. It's just really gorgeous and it has a bunch of silver sparkles in it. I really like it. And the Revlon nail polishes are really good. They're probably my favorite. Well, this um, Revlon and Sally Hansen are my favorite drugstore brand of nail polishes because they dry really well. Okay, the next one is um, by Del Sol and um, Addicted to Too Faced. Just, um, just talk talked about these in one of her one of her videos I don't know if you guys heard that but my dog was like wagging his tail on the wall but yeah and it's like this color is called secret crush yeah well it's called secret crush so yeah so it's um when you just put on your nails it's like this coral um peachy color really pretty and has like purple undertones so gorgeous very sparkly too and then when you um put on your nails and you go outside it turns to a purple but it doesn't turn to the stark purple that they have on top of here it does not turn dark like that it turns like a lilac purple it's like so pretty because you actually can see the peach undertones so gorgeous so i love it and i think everyone should try to get some of these del sul nail polishes because they change color when you're in the sunlight and they change like right away they don't just like you don't have to wait for them to change. The next one is also by Sally Hansen, and it's an Insta Dry Fast Dry Nail Color, and this is in the color 26 Lively Lilac. And this is such a pretty lilac color. Um, uh, it's like a, a light a light lilac, and then it has blue undertones. Can you guys see how they have blue? Yeah, it is blue. Yeah, it's really pretty, and I use this a lot. And actually, I can see the container. Like the inside. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the Insta Dry by Sally Hansen nail polishes have the thicker brush like this. So if you guys don't like the thicker brushes, don't get the Insta Dry ones. That's what I wanted to mention. I kind of forgot. So. Okay. The next one is by Sally Hansen, and it's the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color, <laughs> and this is in the color zero four Blue Me Away. There you go. And this is like oh, the perfect blue. On camera, it looks like a turquoise. It's not turquoise. It's like a blue. It's like a baby blue. That's not the true color. Like, this is looking like electric blue. It's like a baby blue. But uh, I'll show the brushes of these because the Insta Dry ones are really big. And then these um, Extreme Wear Nail Color ones are just regular sized. So, just to let you know. Okay. Um, the next one is by China Glaze. And this color is in the color 721 Custom Kicks. And by, guys, by the way, I try to pick out more drugstore brands so you guys would be able to um, buy them, like, at an affordable price. But in my opinion, China Glazes are pretty affordable because at Sally, I mean at Sally Hansen, what am I saying? What? Sally Beauty Supply and at Ulta, they're like $6.99, which is not that much. It's about the same price as a Sally Hansen nail polish, so, yeah. Alright, and this color is called, oh, I already said what it's called, but it's like a pretty um, teal turquoise. And you guys are not going to see, but this is a true color, but you guys are not going to see. It has, um, like, green, go greenish, yellowish, gold <coughs> sparkles in it. And sorry, guys, I just did that because I ran the mile today in gym. So, um, I kind of have, like, dry throat. I should drink some water, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I love this color because it's, like, a I just really think it's gorgeous. It's, like, a teal, and it's really pretty. <coughs> the next color is... By China Glaze as well, and it's a thousand and eight purple panic, and it's a neon. Yeah, it's not gonna focus because I'm using a MacBook, but it's pretty good quality for being a MacBook, in my opinion. Yeah, I know I'm slacking, guys. I should use a camera, but it just—I don't even know where my camera is. 
Yeah, okay. This is um a purple. It's like a this color actually on camera. It's not the two colors. It's like more of a purple, but it is like a purple pink. It's not just like purple. I guess it's a neon purple. It's like um like these three mixed together. Um because it makes Oh, and a darker purple. It makes like um this pretty, like purpley pink fuchsia color. It's gorgeous. So I love it. The next one is by Sephora by OPI. And this is in the color Iris I Was Thinner. Jeez, I don't know why. Blind you. And this color is like a mauvey purple. It's really pretty. Um, it's like a lilac purple, I guess. But yeah, it's really pretty. Um, I actually haven't even used this color yet. Because my mom got it for me. Um, I don't know when. Like April 9th or something. I haven't even painted my toes or anything in this color. So I might paint my toes this color. Probably not though. But actually, let me check something. It's kind of similar to Do You Lilac like It by OPI. I had to check because my no toenails have that color on. Um, but there, it's not really identical. It's not even hardly noticed. Like, you wouldn't be like, oh, that's like, is that Do, li Do You Lilac like It by OPI? You wouldn't be like that. But it's like, it's a good dupe for it if you, like, don't want to spend OPI price. Okay. The next one is by Tom and Glaze. And this is called, it's the Crackle one. The Crackle. And this is in the color... 983 fault line and this color is just like a, a nice purple and you guys can see it has kind of like gold undertones i didn't notice that but it does you guys can see the gold undertones really well yeah it has like gold undertones and it's really gorgeous and what a crackle is it's just like the shatter by opi which i don't have any more crackle colors and i don't have any um opi shatter either which is so sad i need to get that but it's always out. Ugh. Don't don't even get me on that subject. I'm so mad. But anyway, um, it's like this purple and it crackles on your nails and it looks like it looks like it shattered. It's really pretty and the purple makes it really pretty. And if you put like um the next color I'm about to show you underneath that, that's so gorgeous. It's crazy. The next color is by Tana as well. And this is the color I said would be good under the crackle and the fault line color. This is 934 Swing Baby. And I got this on sale at Ulta. I just dropped it one second. I'm going to get it. Okay. And I got this color on sale for $2.99 at Ulta just yesterday. So check that out because it's crazy. $2.99 for a channel glaze nail polish. And this is such a pretty like chrome gold silver color. It's very sparkly, very pretty. And obviously, you look at that. Together, they're going to make a gorgeous combo, especially since this has gold undertones. Oh my goodness. It's going to be pretty. I'm going to probably paint my toes that maybe tonight. That's a good idea. I'm not sure because I like really don't know what color paint. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. That's all. In oh, and then I have a, okay, an accessory that I like to put in my snails on springtime is rhinestones. And I have a bunch of them. I have like all different shapes. I have... I have hearts ones, I have teardrop ones, circle ones, square ones, smaller circle ones, smaller teardrop ones. Really pretty. I have colorful ones down here and then clear ones right here. And I like to add rhinestones to my looks in the spring because it just gives us some extra glitz and glam. Yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, that's just all the spring nail polishes I really like for spring. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.